Okay, I'm going to look at 2011, the January questions three. So you can see there, it's just a straightforward algebraic fraction one. So three over x plus four, add two over x minus one, divided by x, add one over x minus one. Okay, first of all, make the bottoms the same. So three, this one needs an extra x minus one. This one needs an extra x plus four. Bottoms are now the same. To divide, you turn the one after the division sign upside down. So times out this top and tidy up. 3x, add 2x. Minus 3, add 8. Over x plus 4, x minus 1. Times x minus 1, x plus 1. Now, you can factorise out your 5. x add 1, sorry, these here cancel off x add 4 times 1 over x add 1. That bracket cancels that bracket, giving you an answer of 5 over x plus 4. I'm going to look at question 5c of that same paper. It's quite an interesting one here. So it's a, it's a quadratic, sorry. It's a, it's a wee quadratic. So we'll just write that one out again there. So question 5c. If x a third equals 2 plus 15x minus a third. I'm just going to write that slightly differently. x a third equals 2 plus 15 over x to the third. I'm going to say let y equals x to the third. So my equation 1 now becomes y equals 2 plus 15 over y. Timesing everything by y, you will see a quadratic form everything on one side for a quadratic, factorise it and um, solve. So y equals 5, y equals minus 3. Now call this equation 2. Equation 2 tells me that y is actually x to the third. So x to the third is 5, x to the third is minus 3. Remember what x to the third means is the cube root of x. So the cube root of x are these numbers. To find the x, bring the cube root over. Opposite of cube root is to cube. So it's minus 3 cubed and 5 cubed, giving you 1, 2, 5 and minus 27. Now we still have one more. Oh, sorry, that's that paper finished.